Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can upgrade from Windows 11 Home Edition to Pro Edition directly without reinstalling your Windows and without losing any files, folders or applications. This exact same process also works for Windows 10, so you can equally follow these steps to upgrade your Windows 10 Home Edition to Pro Edition directly. And in case you are wondering the differences between the two editions, these tables from Microsoft provide a summary of that. Simply put, the Pro Edition provides you additional features on top of all the features provided by the Home Edition. Features like BitLocker encryption, information protection services, and a number of business management and deployment tools that you wouldn't find in the Home Edition. I will leave a link to this comparison down in the video description. Now to upgrade from Windows 11 Home to Pro Edition, you will need a Windows 11 Pro Retail Key. Same also applies if you are upgrading from Windows 10 Home to Pro Edition, in which case you will need a Windows 10 Pro Retail Key. Now as at the time of making this video, it is also possible to upgrade your Windows 11 Home to Pro Edition using a Windows 10 Pro Retail Key. Now I don't know how long that would continue, it will likely remain like that going forward, but in any case the process remains the same. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first you need to purchase a Windows 11 Pro Retail Key and to that I highly recommend Prime Tech Mart. Prime Tech Mart is an online store for digital software licenses. They offer licenses for various Windows versions and editions including Windows 11 and 10, both Home and Pro editions, retail and OEM versions. Now in case you are wondering the basic differences between the retail and OEM licenses, to put it simply, with the retail licenses, not only are you able to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro, as you can do with the OEM licenses, but you are also able to upgrade from a Home to Pro edition directly without reinstalling your Windows and without losing any files, folders or applications, just as we'll be doing in this tutorial. In addition, the retail license allows you to transfer the license key from one device to another, one device at a time. So you can deactivate a retail license from one device and transfer it to another device. Prime Tech Mart also offers different versions of Office, including Home and Business Editions for both Windows and Mac OS. They also have Visio, Project Pro, and various server applications. Now, obviously, these licenses are already at discounted prices, but in addition to that, Prime Tech Mart is offering you, the viewers, an additional 20% discount on any of these licenses if you choose to buy. The promo code for the 20% discount is ET20, as shown on the screen. They offer different payment options so you can choose your preferred payment method and proceed to checkout. Licenses are delivered instantly on the checkout page after you've made a payment and a copy is also sent to your chosen email address for future referencing. I will leave their links down in the video description. Now in upgrading from Home to Pro Edition, you will obviously need an internet connection, not just to activate with Microsoft servers, but also to download the extra packages that come with the Pro Edition. So the faster your internet connection, the better. With that, the rest of the process is pretty straightforward. For demonstration purposes, let's first check and see what edition of Windows 11 I currently have running on my laptop. To do that, I will open my file explorer, click on this PC. From this top menu, I will click on the three dots to open the drop down and then click on properties. And here under Windows specifications, it shows that I have Windows 11 Home Edition. To see the activation status, I will scroll down a bit and click on product key and activation. And here it shows my Windows 11 Home is not yet activated. Now I'm going to use the retail key from Prime Tech Mart to both activate and upgrade this computer from Home to Pro Edition without reinstalling. To proceed with that, here where it says change product key, I will click on change. And then you should have this blue dialog box asking the product key. Here you should enter the 25 character license key. You should find this key in your order confirmation email from Prime Tech Mart. Now I recommend copy pasting this key to ensure it's accurate. Obviously it won't work otherwise. Now after entering the key, hit next and wait for the process to run. Now, if you are getting any negative messages at this stage, then first ensure you are entering the key correctly. Remember that the dashes are put automatically in the right places, so you don't have to put them manually. If the license key is valid and has been entered correctly, you should get to this next stage where it says upgrade your edition of Windows. 
here it reminds you that the process would be adding new features to your windows so you will need to save your work and close your applications before starting the process with that done then you can click on this start to begin the upgrade process and here it shows you the percentage progress of the upgrade you should definitely ensure your pc remains powered on the entire time I would advise having it plugged to power the whole time even if you have a good battery because if the process terminates in between it could lead to loss of data. Now after preparing the upgrade your PC should restart automatically and then it should boot up to a screen showing the progress of the upgrade. Now if for some reason you get any error at this stage saying something like the product key you entered didn't work or you can't activate Windows on this device because you don't have a valid digital license or product key. No need to panic, simply reboot your computer manually and allow it to install the required updates upon restarting. Thereafter, the license should take effect. Now, if your Windows update settings doesn't allow such updates to run automatically, then you need to manually run your Windows updates to complete the upgrade process. There could also be situations where you will see your Windows showing Enterprise Edition instead of Pro. This happens when the upgrade is interrupted by some system processes or server outages or some other fluctuations while installing the upgrade files. A general way to resolve all such issues is to simply restart your computer and run Windows updates. Allow all updates to download and install and afterwards if your activation doesn't take effect automatically then simply make the activation again and it should work fine. The upgrade process could take some time depending on the processing power of your PC. I would say somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes for the entire process. All you need to do is just wait for the process to complete. And with that, we've successfully upgraded from Windows 11 Home to Pro Edition without having to reinstall Windows and without losing any files or applications. So now if you go back to check your Windows specifications, it should now show that you have Windows 11 Pro Edition. And when you check the activation status, it should show that Windows is activated with a digital license. Hope this was able to help you out give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one thanks for watching and see you in the next one